to you by that famous talking cereal, Kellogg's Rice Krispies. Snap, crackle, pop. Today, Kellogg's Rice Krispies, the world's only talking cereal, brings you Wild Bill Hickok. Transcribed in Hollywood and starring Guy Madison as Wild Bill and Andy Devine as his pal Jingles. In just 30 seconds, you'll hear the exciting story, The Rimrock Rainmaker. Buckaroos, if you thrill to 3D movies, you know why I'm so all-fired excited telling you that Kellogg's new cutout masks are in real-life 3D. That's right, full three dimension. These colorful masks actually curve to fit your face. And listen to this, they're all free, absolutely free. Right on the backs of Kellogg's Corn Flakes and Rice Krispies packages. I'll be back in a little bit to give you more information about these exciting new 3D masks. So keep listening. <laughs> One all-important thing that meant life or death to the settlers of the early West. Water. When the rains failed, the land dried up and the cattle thinned down to bawling, bony skeletons. Men became desperate and would pay anything for the slim chance of breaking a drought. That's how it was at Rimrock when United States Marshal Wild Bill Hickok and Jingles turned dust clouds to gun smoke in a tangle with the Rimrock Rainmaker. tell you what I'm going to do. Inflate the balloon, Chick. Well, Professor... This will be the day, Mr. Sloan. Now, you've been going up in that balloon and setting off them homemade bombs and rockets for three weeks now. We ain't seen any rain yet. Some of these rimrock gents are wanting their money back. Patience, gentlemen. Mother Nature is a fickle filly. But I'm going to win out in the end. Chick, what's taking you so long to get that gas bag filled up? Now, don't you start writing me. We've been in this town too long. These rubes are getting wise. Shut up and get that bag inflated. One more display of fireworks in the air, and maybe I can squeeze another thousand dollars out of these rubes. Your homemade thunder ain't fooling these jaspers. We better crack Todd Sloan safe and get out of town. I'll do the thinking. Go on with your work. What's holding you up, Professor? Well, yeah. Can't rush science, gentlemen. Well, maybe you better call the whole thing off. Oh, that'd be right foolish, Mr. Sloan. Just when we're on the brink of success. Check. Hurry, cut off that valve and let go of those lines. Now. Okay. Here goes. Here I go, gentlemen, to bring you the rain you need. Can't wait much longer, Professor. Check. The wind is from the west. Pick me up east of town. I'll be there. Wish me luck, gentlemen, and listen for my man-made thunder. It's gonna rain! Bill, is land through here is so doggone dry the lizards have moved out and the horny toads are carrying canteens around with them. <laughs> Long time no rain, Jingles. Ugh, heap bad sign. <laughs> And that's why Todd Sloan sent for it. Now, hold on, partner. Nobody's going to expect us to bring rain with us. Well, don't be too sure about that. Some of the things folks ask us to do, nothing surprises me anymore. Oh, one shot. Steady, boy. Hey, Bill, look up there. It's a balloon. Yeah, and somebody's shooting off bombs from it. There it goes again. Yeah, the wind's blowing it this way fast. What's that local Jasper doing up there? Look out, Jingles. There's a big hook trailing from that basket. Phew, that just missed me. Watch if that hook would tear your head off. Hey, Jeff, grab that hook and anchor it somewhere. Sounds like he wants to come down, partner. Well, I ain't so sure I want him to. What do you think you're doing up there? Set that hook in something solid and I'll come down and explain. Come on, let's get that hook in line before he drifts out of reach. I'm getting right curious about all this. Be careful how you grab that rope, Jingles. Yeah, you get tangled up in it and you go for a mighty high ride. That's right. All right, let's both grab hold at the same time. Get in there, Buckshot. You ready, Jingles? Ready as I'll ever be. All right, grab hold. Now! All right, now that we got it, what are we going to do with it? Jolly it around your saddle horn. Okay, I got it. Now, link of that hook behind this big rock. Make it good and solid. Joker and me ain't hankering to fly just yet. It's solid, Jim. All right, free your rope and jump out of the way. Here goes. Jump sideways, Joker. Not enough. All right, mister, you can let the gas out of that balloon and settle to the ground. Here I come. Ooh, we know. Let's the 
balloon way out here in the desert like this. Hey, Bill, here comes a rider, bent for leather. Get loose from that rope, you monkeys, or I'll let you have it. I'll go, Friar A. You hurt me, and I ain't fooling. Bill! Yippee! 3D, 3D, 3D. That's right. Kellogg's new cutout masks are in real life 3D. You'll find them right on the backs of Kellogg's Rice Krispies and Kellogg's Corn Flakes packages. Three dimension masks that actually curve to fit your face. And they're all free, absolutely free. Don't cost you a cent extra. Golly, there's Patch Eye the Pirate, Pumpkin Puss, Cuckoo the Clown, Smokey the Fire Prevention Bear, and lots of others. You'll find eight lifelike cutout masks on backs of Kellogg's Corn Flakes packages, four more 3D masks on backs of large size Rice Krispies boxes. All 12 3D masks are in full color. You'll have a barrel of fun wearing them for Halloween and trick-or-treats or any time you want to have fun and fool your friends. And say, you'll want to get the clever makeup sets on small-size Rice Krispies boxes, too. They're free, just like the 3D masks, and loads of fun to cut out and wear. So why not ask Mom for Kellogg's Rice Krispies, the only talking cereal in the whole wide world, and Kellogg's Corn Flakes, everybody's favorite cereal. Then right on the backs of special packages, you'll find your free 3D cutout masks. Get all your favorite 3D cutout masks real soon. While Bill and Jingles had no sooner anchored the balloon to a solid rock than a strange rider stormed up and started shooting. It was Chick, the professor's hot-headed assistant. Look out, he's got another one. Well, he ain't gonna have a long crowd in Joker. Get back or I'll let you have it. You, Gila Monster, I'm gonna make you eat that gun. Oh, that's gonna take a lot of doing, you big buffalo. Watch him, Jingles. That's the last shot you're gonna fire, mister. You're coming off that horse right now. Look out for that cactus bush. Oh, Bill, get this vermin off me. Ow! Now I'll fix you. Hold it right there, mister. That's a chick, you bungling idiot. What do you think you're doing? Keeping these two saddle cramps from messing with the balloon. You empty-headed moron. These gentlemen were assisting me in making a landing. Now get up off that big one and apologize. Yeah, be quick about it. I got 40,000 cactus quills sticking me where it ain't comfortable. Ow! Gentlemen, let me apologize for my assistant's actions. A man with so little brains is not responsible. You better watch what you're saying, Professor. Quiet, featherhead. Hey, Bill, here comes another gent riding up. This country's sure getting right crowded. Ow! Don't go these cactus needles. It's Todd Sloan, Jingles. Now maybe we'll find out what's going on here. Oh, whore. Well, howdy, Bill, Jingles. Sure glad to know you got here. Howdy, Todd. You know these gentlemen, Mr. Sloan? I reckon I do, Professor. Two of my oldest and best friends. There ain't no better time for you to meet them. Well, right now, I'm sorry I ever run into them at all. Ow! Take it easy, Jingle. Well, how am I going to take it easy pulling 40,307 cactus quills out of my britches? Ow! Go ahead, Todd. Don't mind Jingle. Bill, uh, this is Professor Flatner and his assistant, Chick Flanagan. Gents, shake hands with Wild Bill Hickok and his deputy, Jingles. Hickok? Yeah, Hickok. And the one with the punctured hide is me, Jingle. Well, now this is a great honor, Mr. Sloan. Marshal Hickok and Jingles just did me a great favor. Well, your helper didn't do me no favor. Ow! You sent for us, Todd. What's on your mind? Uh, come on and ride out to my ranch. And I'll tell you all about it. Fine. Guess we've done all we can for the professor. Yeah, and I'm much obliged to you, Hickok. I'd be honored if you and your partner would visit our camp. Mr. Sloan will explain all about it, I'm sure. I, uh, I sure will, Professor. Ready, Bill? Yep. You ready to ride, Jingles? Yeah, I reckon I've got all them cactus needles pulled out of me now. Then hit the saddle, partner. Yeah, now steady, Joker. Here I come. Ow! Now what's the matter, Jingles? I missed one. Oh! 
Oh, now, you blasted crowbait. Don't waste any time, Chick. Get the balloon unloaded and set up ready to go up again. Yeah? And while I'm doing all that, what's the great phony Professor Flattner going to be doing? Don't get smart with me, Chick. It's not good for your health. Well, sticking around this neck of the woods ain't going to be good for my health, neither. Now that Wild Bill Hickok showed up... You do what I tell you and leave Hickok to me. Nothing doing. I made it my business to find out where Todd Sloan's got that $3,000 hid... And I'm going to make it my business to get it. Hey, not Chick Flanagan. You're going to make it your business to listen to every word I say. Uh, sure. Sure, Professor. I'm, I'm listening, only don't shoot no more slugs through my hat. They could have gone through your head, you simpleton. You get out of line with me and I'll leave you here for the buzzards. I'm doing the thinking. That understood? Sure, sure, Professor. You're doing the thinking. Yeah, sure. I'm going back into town while you stay here and set up the balloon ready for another ascension. Oh, uh, now you ain't going to try Shut that. Shut up! Be sure you stake it down good, and this time put almost full measure of gas in the bag. You gonna ask Wild Bill Hickok to take a ride with you? Yeah, now that's the best idea you've ever had. And you're gonna do it? Is that what you're going into town for? No. I'm going to town to see how impressed they were with this morning's ascension. I just might get that extra thousand dollars. Yeah, and you just might stretch your luck too far and stretch our necks along with it. Bill, I'm sure glad we went out to Todd Sloan's place. At least I know now what the professor was up to. We should have guessed he was a rainmaker from the start, Jingles. You reckon the professor's a phony? Yeah, I'm sure of it. Nobody makes rain by making a noise like thunder. Then how does he figure to collect the $3,000 the farmers put up? That's up to us to find out, partner. At least Todd Sloan still got the money and the professor's still stolen. Yeah. Now I got one more question. What's that? What are we riding into town for? Just a hunch of mine, Jingles. If we don't find anything there, we'll ride out to the professor's camp. I don't know what you're expecting to find, but there's a crowd up in front of the post office. And there's the professor standing on the porch. Yeah, it looks like he's making a speech. Yeah, and I'm right curious about what he's going to say. All right, pick him up, Buckshot. Yeah, me too. Reach out, Joker. Just pull up to the edge of the crowd and listen, partner. Whatever you say, ooh, ease up, Joker. Oh, oh Buckshot. Move on. If that's your final decision, I can't do anything more about it. Your lands are dry and your cattle are dying. And today I am nearer to success than ever before. Well, there ain't no use in asking us to put up another thousand dollars. We had plenty to do raising the three thousand Todd Sloan's holding for you now. Very well, gents. I'll have to do the best I can. Well, that ain't been very good up to now. So that's a professor's game. Yeah, he's stalling, trying to get more money. Now, look, if you just have faith, gentlemen, you feel that breeze coming up, I'll guarantee you rain by tomorrow morning. I'll guarantee you this, professor. If it don't rain by tomorrow, we're all taking our money back and running you out of town. <laughs> Let's talk to the professor, Jingle. Come on, move up there, Buckshot. I ain't sure he's going to like what I've got to say. Then don't say it. Let me do the talking. That suits me just fine. Oh, Buckshot. Oh. Howdy, professor. You having a little trouble? Huh? Oh, uh, why, not at all, Marshal. I was just reporting my success of this morning to the citizens of Rimrock. That uh, wind is coming up right fast, professor. You know, you might get that rain tomorrow after all. Yes, yes, that's right. Well, Marshal, good to see you, but I've got to get along. That's fine. You know, Jingles and I were about to take you up on that offer to see your camp. What? Oh, yes. Well, uh, you uh, go right on out, Hickok. Chick will show you around. I have some uh, business in town first. You go right ahead. I'll join you there later. <laughs> But I don't see no Chick Flanagan around. Whoop, whoop, Me neither, Jingles. Oh, back shot. Whoop, whoop. What do you say we nose around a little, Jingles? Joker sure don't like this wind one little bit. Hey, Bill. What? Look at that balloon. It's all blowed up, ready to go up again. It sure is. You reckon the professor's planning to go on up and set off some more bombs and rockets this evening? Huh, Bill? Bill Hickok, you ain't listening to me. I'm thinking, partner. Well, think out loud so I can get in on it. All right, all right. 
Now that I see that balloon, I think I know what the professor was stalling for. What? The wind. Jingles, we're in the wrong place at the wrong time. That means we got some riding to do. Now, that's where you're wrong, Hickok. What? Bill! Don't turn around, and don't go for your guns, lawmen. I'm right behind you with an itchy trigger finger. Bill, it's that varmint chick Flanagan, and he's got the drop on us. Spread out, Jingles. Gotcha. Stay where you are. You ain't gonna upset the professor's plans. We haven't got time to fool with you, Flanagan. Now, Jingles! Bill! You dug your grave, Hickok! <laughs> Those three gunshots are just to remind you that Kellogg's new cutout masks are in 3D. That's right, lifelike three dimension. These are the brand new cutout masks that actually curve to fit your face. And get this, they're all free. Don't cost you a cent extra. You'll find eight different 3D masks on backs of Kellogg's cornflakes packages, one to a package, four more 3D masks on backs of large size Rice Krispies boxes. Golly cow pokes, there's Pat's Eye the Pirate, Cuckoo the Clown, Smokey the Fire Prevention Bear, and lots of others. You'll have fun wearing these colorful 3D masks when you go out to trick-or-treats and Halloween or any time you want to disguise yourself and fool your friends. And say, you'll really go for the clever makeup sets on backs of small-sized Kellogg's Rice Krispies packages, too. They're a barrel of fun to cut out and wear. And these makeup sets are absolutely free, just like the 3D masks. So why not ask Mom right after the show for Kellogg's Rice Krispies, the only talking cereal in the whole wide world, and Kellogg's Corn Flakes, the cereal that tastes best to more people. And while Bill and Jingles spread out to confuse Chick Flanagan, they took a big chance. Chick had the drop on them from behind, and when Bill made his play, Chick fired. You're wasting my time, Flanagan. You ain't through with me yet, Hickok. Not quite. Uh, Let me have him, Bill. Get a piece of rope. We'll tie him up. Not so fast, Lawman. I'm in a hurry, mister. Get a boy, Bill. That put him to sleep. Tie him up fast. We just gonna leave him here like this? Yeah, we'll have to. Come on, hurry, partner. All right, he's tied now. Now what's your rush? Todd Sloan's in danger. Hit the saddle and give Joker his head. We may be too late now. Now, I don't see what you're all head up about. Things look mighty quiet around Todd Sloan's ranch. Maybe too quiet, Jingles. Pull up to the house and don't wait to knock. Oh, but you hoo. Oh, Joker who? Doggone it, you must have got a mighty strong hunch. I sure have, and for once I hope I'm wrong. Well, the door's locked, Bill. Then we'll break it in. All right, but we're sure gonna look silly if we bust up Todd's door for nothing. <clears throat> All right, let's try it again now. Together. Hit it! <clears throat> Did it. Still right quiet. Todd! Todd Sloan! Hey, Todd! Speak up! It's Wild Bill and Jingle! Look in his bedroom, Jingles. Yeah. Not there. No, no. Where, where'd he have the money here? In the cellar. Come on. Hey, Bill! Bill! Bill, I heard something. Here's the cellar door. Bill! Jingles! He's down there, all right. Yeah. Come on, Todd! Better be careful that the professor's down there. He's been here and gone, Jingles, with the money. You all right? Right as I can be with a bump on my head and tied up like a spring calf for Brandon. Well, I'll get them ropes loose. How long's the professor been gone? Well, how would I know? I just come to when I heard your steps up in the house. There you go. Now, let's get you to on your feet. Oh, that's it. Oh, thank you, Jingles. Sure glad you gents got here. Yeah, we're a little late all around today. You okay to ride? Sure. You're lucky the professor didn't go in for killing. I reckon so. I'd be buzzard bait by now. I'm going to make buzzard bait out of him if I ever catch up to him. You're going to have to have all your luck with you to get that chance, partner. All right, let's go. Bill, I ain't 
sure what we're in such a hurry for now that we got Todd safe with us. I want that professor and Chick Flanagan behind bars, Jingles. Yeah, but we could trail them. Don't call for breaking our necks. You ever tried trailing a balloon, partner? A balloon? That's what I said, a balloon. But a balloon don't leave no trail. You mean to say the professor's planning to make his escape and that balloon of his? Look straight ahead of you, Todd. There's your answer. Yeah, there's the professor's camp. And them two varmints are climbing in the basket of that balloon right now. Yeah. Yeah, and if they cut those ropes, they're going to be long gone. Well, I'll be a pink-eared salamander. Ride straight for them, Jingles, and grab that trailing rope. They got other ideas. Watch out. Get that rope tied to that hook at the bottom of the basket, Jingles. It's the only one they can't cut loose. I got you. Get into there, Joker. They're climbing fast. I'll keep him busy for you a while, Bill. That's a good idea, Todd. Yeah, I got hold of the rope. Good. Oh, watch out. Ooh. All right, give me the other end, Jingles. You know, watch out, Bill. The wind's about to take us up with it. All right, don't get around your saddle horn. Yeah, now haul back and stop that gas bag, Joker. Ho! Oh. What's up? They got us anchored. You doggone right we have you, Stephen Barman. You just think you have, you big buffalo. Try hanging on to that. Jingles, look out. Oh, the professor's dropping his bombs on us. I'll keep him down on that basket. Who can play at that game? What do you mean, Bill? Joker and Buckshot can hold the balloon now, partner. We've got to get it back down on the ground. Keep busy, Todd. But how are we going to do it? They left some of the rockets down here, Jingles. I got you. Now, why didn't I think of that? Can you set one of them off? I sure can. Look out, you varmints. Here it comes. Good shot. You blew up the gas bag. Here they come, Jingles. Get ready to grab them. You said it. That sure was a fast come down for a couple of high-roaring swindlers. Yeah, and that explosion knocked them out cold. Hey, look, Jingles. The professor's pockets are loaded with the rancher's money. Now, don't them two look peaceful curled up in the bottom of that basket. Like two Gila monsters sleeping in a gopher hole. I sure do sing a powerful lullaby, don't I, Bill? <laughs> and now, here are the stars of Wild Bill Hickok, Guy Madison and Andy Devine. I hope everyone enjoyed today's story, and here comes Andy to tell you about Monday. Yes, sir, Guy. I don't know when I've seen so much gun smoke and excitement since the day we ran into the rustlers of Rattlesnake Bend. So long, kids. See you Monday. Wranglers, the Kellogg folks have been on a big roundup. They've corralled all your favorite cereals into one pack, Kellogg's Variety Pack. Golly, you get Kellogg's Corn Flakes, Rice Krispies, Kellogg's Raisin Bran, and even new ready sweetened cereals you like so much. Ten big personal portion boxes and all that keep your favorite cereals extra fresh till you break them open. So how's about it, partner? Why not ask Mom to rope Kellogg's Variety Pack for you next time she shops? That's Kellogg's Variety Pack. <laughs> The Greatest Name in Serials has brought you another exciting story of Wild Bill Hickok, starring Guy Madison and Andy Devine in person. Today's cast included Paul Fries, Frank Gerstel, and Tyler McVeigh. Our director was Paul Pierce, story written by Larry Hayes, music by Dick Arant. This is a David Heyer production transcribed in Hollywood. Now, this is Charlie Lyon speaking for Kellogg's The Greatest Name in Serials. Reminding you to listen again on Monday, same time, same station, for another adventure of... Wild Bill Hickok! <laughs>